Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to change this power brake booster and master cylinder. Let's get to it. So this truck, ever since I got it, has made pretty good vacuum noise, especially when I push on the brake. And I suspect that this brake uh, booster is just bad. The challenge is they don't make these anymore. You actually have to take it apart, send it in, and have it rebuilt, and then return to if it's rebuildable. Fortunately, I had a spare laying around. I sent it in, had it rebuilt. So now all I have to do is swap these out. Then I'll have another core here on the shelf that I can send in, have rebuilt if I need. So what do we have to do? We have to pull off these two brake lines. When we do, this cylinder is full of fluid, so it's going to want to leak out. So having some plugs handy is good, or at least something to catch all of that fluid. Once we pull those out, we have to go inside the cab, and this booster here is mounted to the firewall with four bolts. You've got to take nuts off on the inside, and then there is a rod that comes through that goes to the brake pedal. We have to disconnect it. Once we pull all of those out, this whole thing is just going to come out the front. Let's get started. So inside the cab, the ones we have to take out here, here, this one, this one, and then there's this bolt that goes through right here on the pedal. Those have to come off. And then the whole thing will go out toward the engine compartment. Here's the reman that I got back from Cardone. One thing that I know that's different is this has a larger vacuum chamber, so it's a bigger unit. But as long as this rod length is the same, it should be fine. It'll push these mount points out a little bit further, but I can always bend the brake hose to match. It looks like it got some damage in shipping. So, rather than ship that back, this Bakelite, well, I'm just going to epoxy it, put it back in, and put this ring back on, and we'll see. We'll hope that holds. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, hopefully that's good enough. Good enough for me. One thing that's worth noting on this old one got the small chamber here and a large chamber. Large is usually for disc brakes. It simply holds more fluid, so this would be a disc brake front reservoir here. It's interesting that it was on this truck to begin with since this is a drum brake all the way around truck. But notice the large one is at the front here, which means it actually is swapped. I'd say the old one was due for a flush anyway. There we go, master cylinder and booster installed. The only thing left to do is bleed the brakes. I'm not going to do that on this video. Thanks for watching. 